Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG ISO Hemlock. Now, yesterday we tested this weapon at factory settings and we saw that it was a complete beast. And at the end of the testing, this is what I said about the intended configuration. Yeah, I'm going to look at configuration for movement, aim down sight, aim down sight movement speed since it's fairly slow and sprint to fire speed because both ADS and sprint to fire are on the slower side of assault rifles. Now let's see if Mr. Talky Talk there got what he was looking for. Movement speed, ADS speed, ADS movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. So let's start with the centerpiece of the whole configuration, the ISO stockless mod. And it does to the mobility speed exactly what we were looking for. Increases the movement speed. Crouch movement speed, if you want to inspect your toenails, you could do that a lot faster. But look at the ADS movement speed, 3.3 meters per second. And this, these are composite numbers. In other words, the sum total of all the attachments. We went from 2.9 meters per second to 3.3. And the ADS speed significantly increased at 170 milliseconds as the sprint to fire down to 119 milliseconds. Now it hurts the hip fire spread a little bit, but we're not going to worry about that. Take a look at the recoil up 106% on the kick, horizontal recoil at 27 degrees per second, and vertical recoil at 63.99 degrees per second. Now when you look at recoil, you should also look at range, and the effective damage range is 21.1 meters. So kicking at 81 degrees per second, the, the further out you go, the, the greater the amplitude of that kick is going to seem, as with the vertical recoil and the horizontal recoil. It's just a function of geometry. Bullet velocity is 658.4 meters per second, which is a good fast velocity, as is the rate of fire, 600 rounds per minute. In other words, 10 rounds per second. So you can calculate your own time to kill there to throw out three to the head at 50 damage and four everywhere else except if you get them all in the upper legs. As grandpa says time to kill is kind of an imaginary number. Yeah if the enemy is full health that's how many shots it's going to take. That's how long it's going to take at 10 rounds per second. But generally you'll get an enemy that is not at full health and then you can throw all those numbers out the door. Let's take a look at the recoil in the shooting range. First I'm just going to hit fire and not try to control the recoil. And ironically, the recoil seems a bit less than it did yesterday with no no stock attachment on it to increase the gun kick 106% and significantly in increase the vertical and horizontal recoil. Let's take another look. I don't know. I don't see additional recoil. Now let's do it aim down sight, goes up to the right the same way it did yesterday. So I don't see doubling the recoil on this beast. Now let's try to control it. Very controllable, at least in the shooting range, and I haven't seen the same results in a live battle. Let's go back to the configuration. The RQ7 barrel helps with ADS movement speed and the ADS speed. We could get, afford to give up a little bit of damage and it further hurts the recoil. Accuracy is a bit better. I think we'll do fine with a hip fire. X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. Again, it helps significantly with the ADS speed and the sprint to fire speed. Helps a little bit with the recoil and the gun kick. Hurts the horizontal. Hip fire is impacted tax stance significantly impacted but we're not planning on tax stancing and finally the phantom grip again it just obliterates the recoil ads speed is helped as is sprint to fire speed at 26 percent that's the lion's share of what got us down to 119 milliseconds so let's take this configured custom configured hemlock og weapon onto the field of honor see how it did for grandpa and what it did for grandpa's friend enemies let's go all right let's get into this now getting that first kill and free for all you don't need to move generally people come to you 
little drop shot there on Elvis the King. And you can see how straight this high recoil supposedly weapon shoots. It shoots straight as an arrow. I guess arrows are straight, right? I mean, that's, a, that's the cliche. And Grandpa buys the farm with a shot coming in the back of his head. There's somebody at medium range and just a little strafe there takes care of it. We got Muppet up on the top and Grandpa tries to jump down, turn around and shoot, but uh, it's a failure. Looking for people. Not a lot of score. And this, this game is starting to go by. Look at there. Just straight. Minimal control. We got the obligatory knifer, who is also an iron back. I don't understand why people think they need shields in this game, no matter what they're doing, knifing or whatever, because knifing is the most powerful thing you can do. Work my way up to the head because of the 50 damage. 43 in the torso, though. I mean, these people are turning around thinking that they, Grandpa has a normal AR. There's a Muppet up there. And this thing punches. I mean, it punches with the damage. I, I took damage first. There's a Muppet. Didn't get him. Got somebody else. That guy was camped up there the whole game. <laughs> so frustrating. So I decided to maybe leave him alone for a while, let somebody else deal with the Muppets. Just straight. You can see the hip shot. I must not have gotten to the part where it starts to go to the right because it never did. So you've got that just ultra fast sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed and when you compare it to the bare bones this is one weapon where configuring it doesn't mess it up where's the muppet there he is god he got me with a with a launcher with an rpg he rpg grandpa there's somebody stepped in paint take my time make sure i get the hit is there anybody up there? I felt really almost invincible with this hemlock configured the way it was. I mean, bare bones, it was outstanding. Look at there. Turned on him. And he was crouched, sniffing his toes, had me dead to rights. But the extra power and the 10 rounds a second took him out. Yeah, poor guy. We're about to enter the third trimester of this game, and there's only three minutes, 25 seconds left. There's a long shot. Okay, if you strafe a little bit, hold the trigger down, you're going to do fine. I don't see any 106% increase in recoil there. I don't know if you do. Let me know what your thoughts are on it, because Grandpa and I keep repeating myself, but I'm absolutely flummoxed by these recoil numbers there's obligatory knife or just walk backwards as fast as I can and hold the trigger down I said tongue-in-cheek that I considered knifing an exploit and I got a lot of comments on that why do you consider it an exploit I really don't I mean in this game with 150 health y'all have seen grandpa's knifing videos I think I went the one I did, I went 42 and 5 on it. I, there's iron, the iron back obligatory knifer. Kind of like that pink sword, as long as it's not stuck in Grandpa's upper torso. There's medium range. Once again, just every bullet hit the target. Oh, he got away. Where is he? Sniffing my toes. He's sniffing his toes. Grandpa's going to win that one with the hemlock. 
All right, the enemy needs one kill. And Grandpa loses because he comes in second. Desperately seeking somebody to gack. There, oh, that's the ideal guy to gack. Elvis the king. Elvis has left the life. Still need two gacks. There, it's going to be one. Nope. There's one. Yes, just one more. And we pull victory from the jaws of defeat. Ah, oh, this guy, he, he's a dead man. We've got to switch through and Eddie, tell him I love you, and kind of circle around him. Hoo ya. So the configured, bare, bare bones, configured's better with this one. Bare bones is good enough that you can win just about any game. But configured, even though it says high recoil, is outstanding. All right, this one's going to be a little tighter fight so the sprint to fire should help on that the ads speed helped on the last one sprint to fire helped on the last one movement speed all those things in six star when you're trying to work your way around a hotel and find the buffet look at this guy he's gonna lay down grandpa doesn't need worshipers Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Oh, the guy's laying in the bushes. He's a Muppet. Muppet in the bushes. Let's put out. Ooh. Oh, but it got him too. Let's put out the drone. It won't go out. Won't go out. Grandpa's going to get gacked. Oh. Oh, don't step on his claymore there. There's a little bit of strategy to where you put these things. Now, some people say that my aim is at the ground. I know it looks low to you, but it's in the direct center of the screen. And I can quickly work my way up to people's heads. I aim higher when I'm sniping, and you'll notice... Especially on my short yesterday, the majority of my sniping shots are headshots. Oh, I can't see anything, but we still managed to get them. Just throwing out the lead. As long as there's lead in the air, there's hope. That's a fighter pilot mantra. Oh, man, that guy turned me into gold mush. Sprint to fire speed, outstanding outstanding hip fire isn't bad. I told you it wouldn't be bad. Circle the guy putting out rounds. Somebody steps on a proximity mine. There's is that was that Snoop? I don't think so. Have another mosquito, maybe it'll bite someone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bad place to be a Muppet. There's seagulls looking for French fries. I tell you, I don't think I'm going to... Oh, obligatory knifer. I don't think I'm going to get reservations at this hotel anymore. I mean, it's too hectic. Somebody trying to be a Muppet. Whoa. Grandpa's running for his life behind two gacks. And, whoa, there's a lot going on there. Let's see if anybody's at the Muppet spot. The guy's got on a blue suit, but I don't think he's. I don't think he's Snoop. What is he doing? You can see that the ADS movement speed helps a lot. It went from 2.9 to 3.3 meters per second. And that doesn't sound like much, but it's about every second about two feet. Maybe more like a foot and a half. And I can tell it the difference. Whoa. That's rude to set people on fire that you don't even know. 
But uh, the high recoil is a misnomer. It's not the truth. There, I'll well, get him first, him second. And we just need three more Gax. And the game is ours, but I don't think we're going to get them because there's only 15 seconds left in the game. So this will not be a Snickers win unless something amazing happens, and that's not too amazing. Well, this is a slugfest. Oh, yeah. Do, do a little dance. Get down tonight. The ISO Hemlock is a permanent class for me in this configuration. That was a dogfight. Hey, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.